This is the post-game press conference after the Seattle Storm beat the Atlanta Dream 82-72. to Kick things off with questions here in the room. Jeff, you want to kick us off? Yeah, Stewie, when the team is going off in the first half like that, is there like an extra effort to get her the ball and just let her go to work? Uh, definitely. I think, you know, especially um, when she's on the block trying to find her just because she was in a really good groove. But they were leaving her open on the perimeter, and she was just kind of – Getting them from all over the floor. And uh, Tina, I thought uh, both uh, Piff and uh, I thought both Piff Is that and you? Um, Why Brianna Jenkins. Yeah, yeah, we were saying that. Yeah, yeah we just <laughs> noticed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Piff and Brianna Jenner, I thought both gave you guys a, a good boost. It was one of their better games uh, in recent memory. Just talk about how important it is to have that bench come in and, and give the effort there. Oh, it was very crucial. Um, I think that's why this organization has always had the success that they've had because of the depth, because of the trust that the coaching staff has always had in the players that they had within this organization. And, you know, you take a Breon January, who's championship caliber. You take Epiphany Prince, who's a great vet, you know, been to a finals, very selfless. Um, it's definitely very helpful. Um, they have a great basketball IQ that can definitely identify things out on the court and um, just help us out along the way. So I think that's the best thing about this organization. Yes. Oh, Russia, go ahead. Um, Tina, I don't know if I misread things, but when they showed you on the big screen and said this was your 7,000 point, it looked like for a brief moment you were like confused about what they were going to say. Did you know that you were coming up on 7,000 or did um, you misread that? No, I, I did just okay. during my time in Phoenix. Um, I'm not saying before this game, but during my time in Phoenix and when I moved up, um, I knew it was could happen during um, the course of the season. I just didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, what is it? I was looking back and it, it seems like you made one three-pointer in your first five seasons. You know, what does it say about your growth and your development for, I don't know, this record-breaking shot, I guess, for you to come on a, on a three like that? Um, you know, I, I always say the grind goes unnoticed, but the results doesn't. You know, I'm someone who loves being in the gym, loves challenging myself. Um, I used to always say it, but, um, you know, when I look around this league and I see Stewie and I see JJ and you see um, Asia Jones, I always look at my counterparts and what they're doing and, you know, how I can still be within their tier. You know, we have great women that's going to lead this league and those three that I mentioned. And as long as I'm in the league, I'm just trying to hang around. So um, I knew I had to, you know, develop my game, you know, be consistent from the three-point range, um, the older I got. And um, I'm very thankful, to, you know, for my trainer and just the work and the effort that I put in in the offseason. Tina, I mean, I, mean I, I get the offensive stuff, but also 15 rebounds. Can you just, you know, talk about, you talk about the grind. Can you just talk about how important that is the overall game to who you are? Yeah, I mean, I came here for one goal, you know, and that's to just to have an experience and, you know, just in the quest and the journey to get to a finals. And I know there's a certain way that I have to play. There's a certain way that I have to come in every game. You know, it may not result in 15 rebounds. Maybe I'm just blocking out the person and someone else is able to get the rebound. But just really trying to lock in and focus in on these next nine games and just who I need to be. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think those rebounds are something I've never done in the past. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that's really known about myself, but it's, it's, I just need to bring that effort and that mindset every single time for this team to be Soft, successful. Sorry, softball question. I'm hurting to get it out. But <laughs> is it easy to say that now you're comfortable with this offense now? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm getting there. I think Stewie and um, Sue, they do a great job just talking to me out on the court. You know, I still have lapses with some plays, um, but they do a great job communicating. They do a great job just having confidence in me, um, Noe especially. Um, so, yeah, I, I think just being a pro and being a vet, it's, it's kind of getting easier to get um, adjusted. Sue, so what happened on the uh, collision with Ryan? What did you see on that play? Uh, with Tiff? Or with Tiff, yes. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I knew she was coming. I could see as he was, was going to try and pass it to me. I was going to try and um, catch it, but it's, you know, one of those situations that, you know, you're just happy that both people get up and, and are okay from it because anytime you um, hit and not really aware of one another, it's, it probably looks ugly, but I'm glad we were bit, both able to continue to play. And Tina, obviously the milestone is always meaningful, but to be able to do it in a performance like this in a win, what did that, that kind of mean kind of to it? Yeah, if it's one thing that Jantel just kept saying to me, you know, we have to finish it. You know, you're doing a great job, but you have to finish it. So that was definitely something um, on my mind. The milestone is something I'll probably reflect back on when I'm retired. Um, just trying to get these wins and just knowing how important each and every single game is and the way we close out games and just our process out there. Next question. 
Yeah, the last time you guys put the game, Cheyenne Parker had 21 points. Today she only had 12. What was the strategy to keep her from scoring? Um, I mean, the strategy, uh, you know, when Cheyenne gets the ball on the block, she's really hard to, to defend, especially um, just one-on-one. -on -one. But we, we played zone most of the game today, which is something that is very different for us. Um, I think that, you know, we have a lot of potential in that zone, and it's, it's hard, you know, speaking from an offensive perspective when you're trying to post up the zone because you just got people all around you. Um, so I think... You know, yeah, we made her take tough shots, and also we know how they they beat us uh, the last game, and we wanted to make sure that things were different today. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Stewie, you touched on it a little bit, um, but Ryan Howard had the took thirty shots. She had twenty three points, but had to take thirty shots. Yeah. What was kind of the defensive game plan? Um, I mean, make her shoot contested shots. And, you know, yeah, she made some of them. She made, we had some lapses in our zone, but um, really make it tough for, for their entire roster to, you know, hesitate when they, they think about their shots because of our zone and our length. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> and, um, for either of you, you guys are both former number one overall draft picks. And that's what Ryan's going through in her rookie season now. What do you kind of remember from that rookie season? Any like extra pressure uh, being that number one overall pick? I don't know. I think you also have to acknowledge that you know we both come from UConn, and you know, and if it's one thing that Coach Oriyama, he always wanted his seniors to play like pros. So I think I could speak for Stewie. I felt mentally ready. I just knew the physical part was going to be. You know, I was going to go up against vets. You know, 13 years, 12, whatever. But I just have to give kudos to to UConn. Um, Coach Mariyama and CD, just the way they prepared us coming in. So I can't really speak for Ryan, but yeah. I think also it's just, you know, when you're number one, you're going to get everybody's best shot, and, and that's just the way it goes. But um, for her to be playing as well as she's playing this year, being an all-star, things like that, um, it's, you know, there's a lot of potential for, for Atlanta and, and what they're going to do. And, um, I mean, right now they're making a, a playoff push. Tina, uh, you continue to just mention how much fun you're having, how fun it is to play with this team and the culture here in Seattle. What's really working for you here, and um, do you feel like you found what you were looking for? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think for you all, I think you all are within your jobs because it's just a great working environment. It's a great culture, and that's why you're with, you know, whatever company or whatever, you know, uh, newspaper, whatever it is. Um, for me personally, it was just to be in a great mental space. Um, it was to be able to play with teammates that enjoy each other um, and a coaching staff that just wants to make their players better and just challenge them each and every single day. Um, and I think I owe it to myself in my 13 year career to be a recipient of that as I'm getting ready to close out my career. These are the memories that I want to have. Um, it was a tough decision to make. Um, I know there's a lot of things that people want to say about it, but um, I'm glad I took control of my career and what I felt was best for me and how I can help another organization and players around me get better. So yes, it's been good. Uh, I think it's the first time we've seen the two of you and Ezzy out there and Stewie slide into uh, yeah. three. First time for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like from your perspective? You, it's probably the biggest adjustment for you. Um, to be honest, it reminded me of USA Basketball because that's where I played a lot of three, especially with Tina. Um, and like I said earlier, we played zone majority of the game, so to have our back line be that long, um, you know, it's, it's really tough on other teams. And then uh, just making sure I'm, I have awareness. Once you switch from four to three, you want to make sure you're, you're running different lanes and not clogging up as Ian and Tina. I thought she was great. Had to cry. Tina, what's kind of the difference that you've um, experienced so far just coming off the bench versus um, starting? Because Coach mentioned before how uh, used to playing you are with uh, some of these Olympic uh, players as well. So what's been that difference for you? Um, you know, it really helped to come off the bench when I first got here. Um, just being able to watch Stewie and Ezzy and their movements within the offense. So that really helped. Um, and, you know, playing USA basketball, so that was a great experience for me. Just knowing that, you know, your role changes as the team changes. And, you know, this is a different team. And so my role was that the first couple of games. And now I'm inserted back into the starting lineup that I've been doing for the last years of my career. So um, I think that's the beauty about just myself, just being able to adjust and just help in any way that I'm asked to do out there. Have one more? We got one? All right. We'll wrap it up. Thanks, Thanks Appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Oh,
which uh, go ahead and just open it up for your thoughts on today's game, and we'll kick it off for questions. I thought our effort was great today from the start. Um, you know, got some good, good contribution offensively from Tina. It's good to see her in the flow and in the rhythm, and um, you know, good to see us execute defensively with our zone for majority of the game, and um, excellent bench contribution as well, and I think just really good effort all the way around. A lot of questions in here. Jeff, go ahead. Yeah, a uh, big story for you guys is the performances of Tina and Stewie, mm -hmm. both over 20 points, both uh, 10 rebounds or more. Um, just talk about both of their performances. Starting off with um, Tina, I thought, you know, offensively gave us a boost. Um, you see her ability to stretch the floor and um, give us a a, a, a post dominance offensively, which is good, and you know the fifteen rebounds is something that we need consistently as a group. Though we didn't win the rebounding battle, I thought that there were some rebounds that were key for us, and we got to those. And she's a big culprit of that. And Stewie not sh shooting normally, you know, efficiency her efficiently, but getting to the free throw line, um, finding other ways to impact the game with her rebounding, her steals. Um, you know, being long and active in the zone and just, you know, altering shots and things that matter when sometimes the ball isn't going through the hoop all the time, but still, you know, able to impact the game in a variety of ways. And um, I thought both of those players were, were very attentive, very focused, and, you know, very passionate, energetic, and, and got us over the hump. And then uh, Ryan Howard had 23 points to lead them, but she took 30 shots. Yeah. What was kind of the defensive game plan to limit her as best as possible? Well, first and foremost, um, and kind of staying out of man a little bit because we know that they like to ISO um, and they lead the league in um, unassisted field goals. And so that um, the ability to set our zone um, started from efficient offense and finding her and obviously finding her in the zone. And a couple of those shots in the first half were heartbreakers in and out. And so um, we talked about making sure we get to her and, um, you know, living with good con contested shots on her. And um, I thought we did a good job overall um, in our zone. Um, this is something I asked Tina about as well, but like I assume she's a player you've watched for years, maybe from afar. What does it say about her development, her growth, I guess, for you know that record, that record-breaking shot for her to come on a three-pointer, which is you know maybe earlier in her, her career, not something which she really does. That's a great point. I think that just shows you know what happens over the course of the league for players who commit to their craft, um, knowing that you can't come back the same every year. Um, and developing an outside shot is important in our league because you become a triple threat. Um, she can post up, get to the rim, you know, 15 footer is bread and butter for her, but the ability to shoot the three, I think, stands out. Um, and, and her, you know, developing into that is just a, a testament to her work ethic. Oh, saw Stewie at the three today a little bit. Is that a lineup you've been looking to get to? That question was going to come to <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And I wanted to do it last game. But sometimes in my mind, I'm like, you know, the practice aspect of it. But today, it was kind of like, let's just do everything. And that was one of those things, um, to move her to the three. And to see, because we're playing zone and, you know, thinking about rebounding and to have that we're big on the floor, you know, with 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 Ezzy, <clears throat> um, Tina, and Stewie, and think about adding Gabby to the mix. She was in foul trouble a little bit, but that's a huge lineup. And just kind of tweaking with that, putting Jewel in that eventually. I think if you think about Connecticut, if you think about Vegas, and I'm not looking ahead too far, but I'm just these are teams that we're going to play on the road. Um, I think it's important to get game reps um, when we don't have a lot of practice time. Um, I liked what I saw. Obviously, we can do a better job of rebounding and, you know, offensively making it a little bit more cleaner, but we're a deadly lineup when we're that big, I think. Um, you obviously, the 
rebounding numbers have gone up since Tina's joined the team, but what is the key to winning the rebounding game even when you have so many strong rebounders on the team? I think it's just the timely ones as well for us, and that goes with a lot of things that have happened in a game, the timely turnovers, the timely O boards and things of that nature. Um, I think it's rebounding outside of our area. Ezzy does an amazing job of that. Um, Tina is long, and obviously Ezzy, um, Stewie with her activity, is able to rebound them. And it, it's not just on our post players. I think our guards have to get a couple of more, but to have um, the ability to um, increase our Rebounding percentage is huge. If you think about the teams who are very good in this league, and that is as part of that um, limiting uh, teams to one shot and, and, and making sure we're clean in that area. And kind of a follow up, I think at one point Piff shot kind of was off and she got from rebound. And then just talk about her activity on the court with eight points today. We need her. Um, and we need Piff to be. Um, who we've grown and love her to be a bucket um, and at her ability to create her own shot, um, especially at the three point line. It's, I thought she got fouled on one of her um, drives to the rim, and that's just who she's been in this league. And, um, you know, Pip is a great teammate. She's constantly talking to Jewel, and um, she understands her role very well. And I think um, just the, the offensive. Um, output that we can get from her is crucial, but also Piv is decent defensively, getting her hands on balls and a strong guard for us. So um, she's going to continue to be a key piece to our success. Hunter? Yeah. Coach with another amazing night. Um, is she the MVP of this season? I think so. I think so. Um, it's not just the scoring. You think about um, what a most valuable player is. You take Stoy off the floor, and we, we know that <laughs> we're missing a lot. Um, she's rebounding. Um, she's defensively active and getting steals. She's blocking shots, and it's not just, she's not one dimensional. Obviously, you guys know she's an amazing human being. She's a great teammate. She makes everyone else better. She elevates everyone else's game. And to me, that's the definition of a valuable, the most valuable player. Coach, speaking of elevating game, um, Gentel didn't get in tonight. Tina was over here talking about Gentel still staying in her ear. You see Gentel warming up on the sideline and constantly helping out in other ways. What all does she bring to this team, regardless of if she gets on the court or not? I have been Gentel before as a player, and so I understand the importance of a player like that. Um, though she has not been in the rotation, um, the other day I had to throw her out there because as he got in foul trouble, and she did great. I think it just shows who she is as a teammate and understanding we all want to win and we all have the same goal. And to get there, sometimes it's not playing 40 minutes on the floor. It's the other things, the intangibles, making sure you talk to your teammates off the floor, making sure you're telling them what you see. Um, and she has the respect of our team. And so because of that, she is able to lead by example. You see her working out. You see her constantly getting her extra reps in. and. Um, it's important to have someone as selfless as her on a team who is striving to be um, a championship level team. Speaking of MVP assets, what was your thought when that crash happened? When I saw that Stewie was like, okay, I was like, took a, you know, I relaxed a little bit and I know, you know, Hayes is um, a tough player. She's, you know, always going hard. Um, but that collision, it, it didn't, like, it, I felt okay because okay. it, you know, it, there are certain things when the three does on the floor that I, I've seen that I'm just like, uh-oh. But um, I saw that she was okay. And, um, you know, one of the things that I strive to do this year is just to make sure we got to the point in um, the, the latter part of our season that we didn't, I didn't overexert her and, and play her 35, 36 minutes so that these moments she can be strong and, you know, not tired and able to handle stuff like that. You needed, you you lost a couple games. I mean, just a statement it makes for Tina to come out and have one of her better games mm -hmm. to get the win. Just how important is that from a leadership perspective? Very important. Um, not only does that do something for our team, but it does something for her. A player who is um, still getting acclimated to our systems, but can find ways to help us um, win. and. Um, finding, you know, her role and um, especially after that game coming off of Phoenix, you know, it's more than just the, the basketball, it was emotional. And to come back um, with, you know, 
a, a, a huge performance. It just shows how mentally tough she is, but also um, just rallying the troops with our team. What we have, the support that she has around her, I think that matters as well. One for, one for the PR department. Big crowd today. Yeah. You know, but I think the biggest crowd that you've had. Mm -hmm. Just what does that mean as you get the fans out cheering and winning? Yeah, I love that for Sue and Bree. Right. We can't forget Bree too, but I love it for Sue because she deserves it. I love it for the city of Seattle because um, the Storm organization has carried <laughs> <laughs> Seattle sports world. <laughs> um, the other night in Phoenix, the crowd played a huge role. I think you talked about that, Jeff. Um, and just, you know, it, it gives us momentum. It gives us an extra push to know that we have, you know, that energy behind us. And it matters. And it's, it's always great to be a part of um, big crowds like that. Let's take a quick question from uh, Christos on Zoom. Christos, go ahead. Hey, look, uh, coach, congratulations on the win for Seoul. Uh, speaking about Dina, since her arrived in the team, how she changed the dynamic overall? You add another Olympian, another Yukon Husky to the mix, you know, I'm listening to the starting lineup is like, Yukon, Yukon, Yukon. <laughs> um, just a toughness about her, a professionalism about her. Um, you know, we know that she can score the ball, but today I look and see she has how many block shots? Three block shots. Um, the activity, the rebounding, those things matter for us. Again, um, adding the places where we're deficient in, um, she adds that because she's so efficient in that and just continuing to grow um, with her and see where she helps us. It, I mean, she's a huge addition. And um, the defensive end, you mentioned the three blocks, they a lot of aggressiveness on the defensive end overall for your team. How many steps in the right direction do you feel that you made, especially since uh, since Tina arrived in the team? How many, say, sorry, how steps many in, steps, steps in, in the, the right direction? The right direction? Yeah. Uh, honestly, our defense has been top all year. Um, and I think um, that's, you know, from the start of training camp, we really focused on trying to um, marry our defense with our offense. And obviously our offense was continuing to get better. But I think defensively, if you think about, you know, you know, Ezzy with her block shots and Stewie, her activity, I talked about that, and Bree, and you know, our guards ability to get into bodies and just be committed to that. I think it's showing, we're growing, and you know, I trust our defense so much at this point. Kevin? Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. With a milestone like Tina's, is that something you acknowledge in the locker room afterwards, or do you every kind of know Miss the moment. Yeah, I think we, we have to acknowledge it. Usually, I I didn't do it just now um, in the locker room, but we will hopefully with the ball and in practice um, because that's huge. Um, top four. Who's the, the the? It's tell me the names of the top three. Yeah, Diana. What, what's oh, what's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Diana, yeah. Diana Ketch. Who's the third? The other Tina. Tina, my dog, <laughs> Tina Thompson. <laughs> Should have known, known that. Yeah, you definitely give her her props. That's hard to do. Um, and again, it's just a testament to who she is, who she's been in this league. And, you know, she's not done yet. So it's, a, it's an amazing feat. Jeff, go ahead. Yeah, uh, earlier you were talking about changing into the three big lineup and kind of trying new things. As a coach, how important is it to constantly evolve, constantly try different things, figure things out, especially before the playoffs? Yeah, it's important because um, it's, you know, with the play playoff format, it's like you jump right into playoffs. A couple of years ago, we had a couple of weeks or a week or so before the first game to kind of tweak and see if it um, is something that we could do. And I think, again, right now, it's, I think you just try whatever it is in the game and you just live or die with the decision because there's not enough to, another time to practice it or work on it. And um, you have to, you know, find something that you can layer, that you can say, like, we can go to this lineup because we're going to get X, Y, Z and, and say it confidently and know what we can get out of that. And there's something to say about seeing it today that we know coming up we can utilize it again. Um, it's just a matter of, um, you know, just trust in it and, you know, good, bad, and different, living with the fact that you tried it and just keeping it in the back pocket because in playoffs, you got to try anything to get the win. Hunter, last question. 
uh, Tina has been talking about just coming here and having fun playing with this team. When she was hitting some of those threes in the first half, I saw kind of the coaching staff looking at each other, um, laughing. <laughs> what was Tina kind of saying back to the bench when she was hitting those shots and running back? Um, I personally thought she wanted to take more contested shot. Like she was, you know, Mm, hesitating a little bit um, before she shot those and that's kind of what my like she would hit you wide open but then I think she kind of started to do the you know the arrow thing people do that was between her and a teammate I guess I'm not sure but I was just like girl you better shoot it when you open <laughs> it seemed like she needed a hand in her face but even the last one that she got she she, she was wide open in the shot clock I think she could have had 30 if she just shot that in rhythm but um, but yeah, just you know, take it when you're open because we know that you can do that. That's why you're here, you know. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah, Appreciate no it. Thank you. Talk to you guys always. Yeah.